Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials. Today, very cool video as we're here to talk about the number one app that any PC VR owner has must download when they purchase their Meta Quest 3 because this app has come poof, leaps and bounds like it traveled for centuries and went on epic journeys destroying Rome, Byzantine, everything. Like it's just something, but yet it has survived the Goliaths of the world, including when they were almost banned by, almost banned by, sorry, I'm trying to get rid of, of this thing, but there we go. Banned by the big N company, which I won't name. They were almost banned by them, but then they brought them back inside of the ecosystem is of course the app called Virtual Desktop, which is produced and created by Guy Godin, who is an amazing developer, him and his team. And yeah, I mean, strides, leaps and bounds. What it can basically do is enable you to stream your VR experiences. If you're not familiar with this app, to stream your VR experiences directly from your computer into your headset completely wirelessly with PC VR optimized graphics. And according to Quest 2 owners and also Pico 4, and I am a Pico 4 owner, the technology that he was unable to capture actually provided much better gameplay with much less latency and also issues with tracking and bugs with games closing and all these kind of things using virtual desktop. And I have very good news guys, as I was talking to Guy Godin himself, and I asked him, you know, hey Guy, how are you? I'm preparing a video about virtual desktop for Quest 3. Is there info you wish to share? Updates coming soon or development, etc." And he replied, I can't share details until launch day, October 10th, but if you have a Quest 3, the current beta 1.29 adds support for it. So I'm very happy to report that. I'm very happy to report that virtual desktop will be available for Quest 3 owners from the get go normally. Now there might be a fee of course to purchase it inside of the Quest 3 store for sure. But the great thing is, it's, is excuse me, that it will be available from the get-go and I'm so chuffed, I'm so excited, I'm so amazed, I'm so thrilled, I'm so, so just passionately excited that this app is going to be available because of course it is fantastic in terms of the latency, it's really good, the tracking, when you do your controllers and everything, it's really good, the graphics inside are amazing and for those who are not familiar, basically virtual desktop enables you two separate things, first of all, you can stream any VR app whatsoever from your PC directly into your Quest 3 or your whatever headset you might have at the moment. But also any pancake game, and in fact, you can even control your desktop directly from the actual virtual desktop itself from the headset without having to go into your PC using your mouse or anything like that. And also what you can do is, of course, if you can click and change things remotely into your desktop from the headset, it also means you can play any pancake games whatsoever that you have on your Steam or Xbox S Pass or whatever it might be directly into your MetaQuest 3 within virtual environments, which are specifically designed by virtual desktop developers. So you can choose to go in a really lush, luxurious, grandiose, old school, retro even, cinema, or you can go in a more private cinema, a smaller one with leather seats, or you can go into like a living room and then you have the view of the city around you. I mean, it's just phenomenal as to the amount of different virtual environments that are available that all come for free, by the way, part and parcel of the app once you've purchased the app itself. But yeah, the graphics are really amazing. And then if you look at the footage, of course, as I've been putting on the video with the Pico 4, undoubtedly it's going to be even better with the Quest 3 but you can see there is clarity from edge to edge. It's absolutely amazing. And the, the, this app is just a golden app. It deserves an Oscar 
of one of the best apps of the century when it comes to VR development because it's thanks to that app that Meta actually went ahead later to develop their own Oculus Link things and they analyzed their app and all this kind of stuff and then eventually they banned the app because it was doing too well the performance was too good compared to their own uh, proprietary software and then eventually due to um, you know uh, com uh, anti-competitive laws they decided to bring it back and enable him to be able to sell his app within the actual quest store which is something that the whole community really really liked because of course the entire community this was about three years ago by the way guys for those who are new to vr um you know or the gen z who are now catching up well basically yeah we we including myself made a huge riot we were like completely opposed to having this app banned and it was banned for more than a year but eventually we made enough noise to get it back so power to you power to us power to the people power to players and power to quest owners and vr enthusiasts for you know and early adopters for enabling his app to be back into the quest store and not on app lab or side quest or wherever it was before which made it very difficult and very tedious to be able to download it and install it so in terms of the actual specs that you will want you will need you will need a windows 7 uh, sp1 64 bit or windows 10 or 11 recommended uh, NVIDIA GTX 6040 or 980M or an ATI HD 7000 RX 200 uh, Intel Core i5 2500K or equivalent If you have a Windows N edition, make sure to install the media feature pack for your version of Windows uh, So this is for the Rift, HTC Vive, Vive Pro and Vive Cosmos, Valve Index and Windows Mixed Reality of course For Quest 123 Pro, so he has added the 3 here as you can see or Pico Neo 3, Pico 4, HTC Vive Focus 3 or XR Elite you need a Windows 10 or 11 64-bit or Mac OS Mojave 10.14 Plus Intel Core i5 2500K as well or equivalent wired computer to 5 GHz AC or AX Wi-Fi router PC VR game streaming requires a VR ready PC GTX 970 Windows running as well so that's basically that and then for the notes of 1.128 uh, they just very recently added uh, HEVC 10-bit support with AMD graphics cards, Radeon 5000 series or newer, improved quality of Snapdragon game super resolution on Quest headsets. Now, personally, I will do a separate video about this because it's a little bit advanced, but when I use it with the uh, Valve, uh, sorry, with the, um, the Pimax, uh, with the Pimax, which is this one here, the Pimax Crystal, uh, all, the, all the HP Reverb G2, which is up, up there, or even the DPVR. I do have some issues with this one, so maybe it's just my graphics card. Um, implemented workaround for HEVC Edge Bug with AMD on Pico 4. Improved microphone volume on Pico headsets. Added port master to interfering app list. Fixed issue with streamer not launching after switching GPUs or using old NVIDIA drivers. Fixed screenshot button causing menu button press with Pico OS 5.7. Fixed Oculus virtual audio device state to be restored on disconnect. Fixed DualSense button mapping on Quest. Fixed shift cap locks issue with computer keyboard. And also fixed cursor offset issue after moving floating screen. Additional notes, additional notes, excuse me. You can launch games that aren't part of the Oculus or Steam library by right clicking the streamer icon, selecting launch game, and locating the executable. Alternatively, you can inject games through a patch file.bat by using virtual desktop.streamer.exe executable path so there you go guys do you have virtual desktop are you super happy with it because honestly speaking i love it now i use an 80 um an asus atx wi-fi router wi-fi 6 wi-fi 5 it doesn't really work so well but if you have different routers like two or three routers in the home and you use them as part of your mesh then it should be absolutely fine i've been playing i've done so many different videos guys go and check out the videos in the link description below or go to the uh, VR Essentials YouTube channel, click on videos and you'll see there's tons of videos there comparing various different routers using uh, the Pico 4 with the virtual desktop. So do go and check all those if you want to find out more about the best settings I was able to get out of the different Wi-Fi's and all these kind of different things. Because yeah, leave some comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited that a virtual desktop will be available on the Meta Quest 3 or nah, not really. You prefer to use the link. Did you have any problems compared to the Quest 2 software when you were using wireless uh, PCVR you know, experiences. Let's have a chat. 
leave your feedback below it really be nice to be able to get your help to educate the community and together we can grow and you can write the narrative as to how vr is supposed to develop all right guys thank you very much for today lovely to spend some time with you have a wonderful start of your week i'll see you in another video very soon hit the notification bell after you subscribe so you get notified of all the juicy content that's uploading getting to be uploaded soon and also hit that like button so that you can help the vr essentials youtube channel to get more views so it's, this video can be seen by more people and we can grow together the vr essentials youtube community all right guys until next time take it easy bye for now bye 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 bye